This is Joe again, and welcome back to Armored Core 5, where we are ready to do what the game tells us so far is the last story mission. Destroy the units pursuing us while we go come out of the city. We are in, the, in this stupid sector that I hate so much. It doesn't say uh, which kind of forces are pursuing us, so we're just going to start and we're going to adapt accordingly. the city, the resistance began to wander aimlessly. All that lay in front of them was a limitless wasteland, devoid of life. Their struggles were far from over. The experiment was a failure. You're no different from the countless corpses that lay buried in this wasteland. You continue to fight, knowing you're sealing your own fate. Such insignificant, foolish beings. Uh. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Perhaps fighting is what humans were meant to do. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But that's nothing more than a theory. I hate these things. Very well. Let's test it. You should be able to handle this. Main system. Activating combat mode. Can I? That's ineffective, right? Take evasive action. Okay, okay. Severely damaged. Take evasive action. So, what I did in the beginning was sure as hell the wrong thing to do. That final boss is uh, a pain in the ass. <laughs> okay. Okay, that final boss is a pain in the ass. Great. That was a huge jump off. Uh, what the fuck is that? I'm not certain I need that. Could choose something else here. AC or uh, KE or CE missiles. VTF, probably. Once they're near the target, yeah. VTF are the ones like, if if I miss by the enemy trying to dodge, then it blows up in their path. Like, they just, if they come near them. That's what these missiles are for. Okay. And we could probably uh, change to something more TE resistant. Okay, and we're gonna see. That's what we're going with now. So I only need to press X in the beginning once. Main the problem is this. Will we wait? We have him half down. AC damaged. Take evasive action. He did half my fire in one shot, basically. Ineffective? What? Face change, huh? Whoa, 
Where are you? Can you stop that barrage? I assume I, I just hey! have to live. I hit him a few times. Oh, he was actually that low and then he went into his weird attack and I uh, just needed to hit him a few more times. Please tell me it's over. Impossible. How can a single AC do that? So foolish. And yet so... There may be some merit to your kind after all. What Time are these? Is necessary. The time to create a complete program. Let's go for now. The answer will reveal itself soon enough. On the day of word, if you mean. Exceptions like you exist, then perhaps. Then perhaps humans are something. So she's not changing her plans and not using AI. Oh, we got ultimate weapons. I, w I wondered when we're gonna get them. And that's it. No more new missions. There was, um, yeah, six minutes for the last episode. Great. Uh, well, okay. Let's look at these automatic weapons. Then I'm speaking about the other thing. Um, wait, what? That does take away my base. Okay. Grind blade. This was already used. No regard to original AC specs. Employ six giant blades that spin at a high rate of speed, instantly cutting nearby enemies to shreds. 90,000 attack power. No need for that. Nothing has that much health. Unusual weapon manufactured with no regard. Yeah. Unusual weapon manufactured with no regard to original AC specs pulverizes targets by smashing them uh, into them with a huge booster propelled pile. Oh, that's this electricity thing. 150,000 damage. Unusual weapon manufactured with no regard. The ultra large caliber cannon that fires huge shells after charging up with a massive amount of energy. We saw this being fired at us. Does not tell me whether that's CE or what, what kind of attack power that is. And then we have the Legion Pulse. That's new. Super large omnidirectional cannon that can attack in all directions. Features a fan shaped turret that pulverizes surroundings. Hey! You know what that shit looks like? I recognize that. I saw the trailer for Armored Core 6. If I have that in a small AC that looks exactly like that one boss that they spoiled in their, in their one tra uh, trailer, the one that has like this cage of uh, rocket launchers around them. That's basically this. Okay, interesting. And at the same time not. Okay, um, yeah. Shred them was the, uh, like shred them with the tank, tank can survive it. And I almost brought him down before he did his phase transition attack. And thus we had a very easy uh, time with this last phase where I just had to get some bullets uh, hitting him while he was flying over. Or maybe we cut him down to zero health and he like lived on one health did his desperation move and he just needed to get one hit in. Might be that. Interesting. Um, yeah, that wasn't worth it recording in another other episode. We don't get, even get credits at the end of the game. Like, what the fuck? Credits. Okay, boys, that was Armored Core 5. I'm uh, quite surprised at how, how uh, promptly it ended. But though, that was quite nice. That was a quite nice game. It was, like, I could see the uh, definite definite uh, drop in quality from four and four answer like from four to four answer it went it went up and then to five it went down again uh, below four uh, in quality this one but there were some things in here that were uh, quite interesting um, 
and interesting concepts like this whole multiplayer thing i mean it's it's not my type of game i don't wouldn't have liked it when it when it came out and had it so i would have probably ignored that entire feature so everything's everything's fine that was an, i like the story in the submissions like that the, the submissions did tell another story as a background story of of rosary while um the main mission uh, did basically give us the background of Ardy and Carol. Uh, but this mostly just feels like a build up to Armored Core Verdict Day. Like this is supposed to tell the backstory for Armored Core Verdict Day and who Carol and their, their guys are. Now she's doing her new program and then we're going to hunt that program down. Um, there was so much weird stuff in here, like much of the story com goes completely unexplained and I could watch these cutscenes over and over again, like some stuff just didn't get explained. And that was like, there was really, really, really bad story design in this. Really bad. And yeah, wow. Uh, okay. Um, I'm thinking about maybe farming up team level and credits to the point where I can just afford everything in the shop and have everything to uh, get over to verdict day but and that's a huge but I do not know whether that works with Xenia to, to transfer uh, data to verdict day would give me like an easier start because it can actually choose parts that are not bad for the next game in the beginning but that would just help me over like the first three or four episodes until i've unlocked enough parts to buy there to to make a actual functioning build maybe i'm going back to a biped build again but i like my tetrapods like their their movement is great um definitely not meaning a tank uh, in a game that's faster than Armored Core 5. In Armored Core, like in this game, you could kind of get away with get doing tank, but not even in all missions. Like most of the missions, it just was too vertical, the map, and it, it just didn't work. Like even in the city, that had tank was kind of useless. So, uh, and let alone the mountains or that marine place where it kept drowning, although auto boosting is turned on. Like, they, they, this game has some issues, and it's definitely, of the three games that I've played so far, uh, it's definitely the worst. Mind you, I'm speaking to you before playing Armored Core 6, uh, because this is recorded, like, in advance, before that game comes out. But you have already seen some episodes of this, uh, of Armored Core 6, of course. But I'm now off to playing Verdict Day. I'm just gonna gonna take it as is and i probably didn't unlock some of the op weapons because like there's weapons that are usually in every game and um in like in every game that from software makes there's a freaking blade called moonlight and the fucking moonlight blade isn't here that this is too crooked this too small this might, trans might be the Moonlight Blade, and they just didn't call it that. Too small? Too small. Like, there's, there's not a Moonlight Blade! Like, what the fuck? I'm definitely missing that. So either it's a pickup in one of uh, the zones. We saw one thing that looked uh, strangely like a pickup. Uh, like one place that looks strangely like they you could pick up something there there's also only one physical blade like if they as if they wouldn't put the kiku back in i mean the kiko is the the other thing the the pile driver this is basically the kiko um but i wanted to look into laser blades whether we just got it dropped at some point Huh? There's no moonlight in this game, and uh, that doesn't sound right. There's always a moonlight sword. 
Okay. I'm gonna use my remaining credits to buy as much as I can in case I can transfer the safe. Uh, but I will not farm up more team levels and stuff to uh, to buy more stuff. Um, it, that's just a waste of my time at this point. Need to be done with Verdict Day before Armored Core 6 comes out for me. So, okay. Good. <sighs> Have a nice day, see you tomorrow with Verdict Day, and in the meantime, also have fun with Armored Core 6. I will. Probably. Mm -hmm.